So um, in the world of webinars, there's really three types of webinars. There's live, where like you and I are live right now. There is, in my world, I, there's what I call live pre-recorded, which means it's pre-recorded, but it's played on a live platform. And then there's just straight up automated, which is like a platform like EverWebinar or, uh, sorry, not EverWebinar. Uh, yeah, yes, yeah, so, sorry, EverWebinar or Stealth, and there's, there's a myriad of different options. Um, and we found over the years of doing probably a thousand webinars over the last decade or so, that um, we get the best conversion with live. Okay, but if you do a live recorded, uh, you can actually, if you put some tweaks in, into place, you can get just about the same effect. And we knew that from, from doing a thousand webinars over the last 10 years or so. And so what we did is we created a master webinar. Um, this, and we ran it to our list, we made sure that it converted. Uh, and when I recorded this master, I, I first sat my girlfriend Liz down and I did it with her. So she said, hey, everybody, welcome to the webinar. Uh, this is Liz, da 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 Please welcome Dan Michaels. I'd say, hey, it's great to be here. Thanks so much for having me. She'd say, hey, no problem. It's really good that we were able to connect. Yeah, I'm, and then I said, yeah, I'm so glad that we're here. Well, should we get into it? She said, yeah, let's go ahead and do it. I said, okay, great, well, let's get started. And after a while, she got bored. And so I said, babe, you can leave. I'll just talk to myself. And I talked to myself for the rest of the webinar. So, oh, so, so I share a strategy and I said, oh my gosh, Dan, that's so incredible. You know, I'm gonna adopt this in my business, yeah. I really think you should, okay? And then we gave the webinar to our editor. Our editor took out all of the comments and scripted them. And then we sent a script to each of our partners and our partners recorded those inserts. So now we have intro, outro, inserts. And then they would take 10 minutes, they would record that, they would send it to us, we would chop it all back together, put it back together like a jigsaw puzzle, and then we would play it on a live platform like GoToWebinar. And we would have, we had 10 go-to accounts running simultaneously. We had chatters in all the accounts. And so, it, so the perception was live. It sounded live. If you asked a question, it was answered live in the chat. And that's how we did it. And then we developed a piece of software that allowed us to track everything. And that is basically how we did 140 webinars in, in 30 days. So I showed up to two of those webinars live. One was the original master. And the second was one of our partners that just said, we, we won't do pre-recorded. Like it has to be live. You know, that's our commitment to our, to our people and it has to be live. I said, no problem. And they're a big partner. So we got on and did, you know, 70, 80,000. So it was worth doing. And um, yeah, that's how we did it. All right. So just thinking back on this, I'm looking at 140 webinars in the 30 days. Um, what happened like after the 30 days? Is this something that you do on, on repeat or you're yeah. still doing this as just like, okay, a 30 day kind of launch? Yeah, so um, a lot of people, a lot of launchers, they, they use time constraints, right? To get people to buy in a short amount of time. So they'll open the cart for a week and then close it down and it's done. Or maybe they'll open the cart, close the cart, open it again once or twice. Um, we basically, we made a contest for our partners. So we gave them you know 30 days to hit these numbers. Um, and we gave away a bunch of prizes, including a Porsche. I gave away a Porsche to uh, Jay Boyer, which was pretty cool. And, um, but then after that, we, we made it available evergreen. I, I don't see the logic in not taking a successful campaign and continuing with it. I mean, I, it just doesn't make any sense to me. Um, so yeah, anytime we, we do a launch, after the launch, we just, we just go evergreen and we'll run it with whoever wants to run it. 